going on everybody? Saturday evening, so about, uh, let me see. It's about quarter to five, so that means we've got about 40, 40 minutes before sunset. And I'm out here in northwestern Rhode Island at a place called Barden's Reservoir. Here at this reservoir, there's a nice little waterfall that comes off of it that leads into the local creeks. So, I had some time before me and my son were gonna head out to dinner this evening. My wife, she took off to Vegas for some work this week, so she's out in sunny Las Vegas. And we're stuck here in the still snowy weather and cold weather of you know, northern, northern New England and Rhode Island. So, but yeah, I figured I had some time left. The sun's getting ready to go down. I only got about 45 minutes. Um, so I'm going to try to catch this, this waterfall off this reservoir. So I'm going to pull the lead, uh, little stopper and big stopper out, try some different long exposures. Um, won't be too many um, compositions that I'm going to try to get at, but I'm just going to find one decent one and stick with it and maybe work through some long exposures. So, you know, without any further ado, I'm off. Okay, so I actually hope you can hear me because I'm right here standing next to this waterfall. I've already got this camera set up. Um, I've got the lead little stopper on it right now. And uh, let's go ahead and show you the composition that I'm looking at right now. Okay, if you can see, I've got the camera set up. Got the lead little stopper on it. You can see what I'm trying to get this the falls right here coming off this reservoir that heads downstream. I'm trying to just use it as a leading line. And it heads up to there's a little shack right there at the edge of this reservoir's waterfall. And then the sun has already set behind those trees out there in the distance. Half of this pond's reservoir is frozen over, half of it's not, so we're getting some reflections right off here to the left. But the sun is setting. Uh, just past those trees back there so we are getting some really good orange glow in the sky right now so I'm hoping we'll be able to get some of that color to show up in uh, post processing it does have a really nice golden color to it um, so yes yeah, so it's a really simple composition there is this dead branch right down here that is in the foreground I'm not sure if once I get it in post processing that I'm actually gonna probably cut that out um, I was getting about 1 30th of a second at at F11 ISO 100 I'm sitting just at 16 millimeters I think on the focal length and what it was giving me was at 1 30th a second so with the Lee Little Stopper it called for about a two to two and a half uh, second exposure so I'm gonna go ahead and get a few of these uh, shots taken care of and we'll see how they turn out It's really beginning to get real, some really nice color in the sky right now. I uh, just got a few low lingering clouds there in the in the distance, just past the tree trees out there. So it's really putting off some really nice color right now. So I've taken a few images already, but I figured I'd just show you guys on this video what we're looking at. It's just gorgeous out here tonight. One of the warmest days we've had in a while. I think it's still around 45, almost 47 degrees right now. So it's just gorgeous out here. Yeah, so just figured I'd come out here, get a few shots and bring you guys along with me. I really think this is gonna be a pretty short video. So we'll see.